Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Richard DeVos. Thank you, Keith. I hate to ask you to stand down when you're ready to stand up and go home. But uh, I'm sure that Keith asked me just to close it up because I am old as the, as the university and uh, a little bit older. But I was there when this university started. In fact, Amway Corporation started in the same year. We both were within about uh, 60, 70 miles of each other. And I knew Arthur Turner and Gary Stauffer at that time. And uh, I used to go up there when they had a class in a little school in Alma, Michigan. And it was all born in a period of frustration, in a period when young people were uh, rebelling, and uh, especially rebelling in the schools, when they used to have knitting classes and uh, all sorts of things to try and get kids to stay in school. And uh, Turner and Stauffer decided they should take kids and teach them business from day one. Uh, not give them two years of liberal arts and then maybe a little business stuff, but start them learning business right from the beginning. And that was their concept. And it was based on the same principles that Amway was founded on, of capitalism and free enterprise. Now, sometimes our young people today especially think that's kind of unusual, but in those years, what was the same year that Fidel Castro took over in Cuba, and the word in our country at that time was that capitalism was dead and free enterprise was over and the age of socialism was here. And God was dead too. And it was in that atmosphere that we formed Amway and Arthur and Gary formed Northwood University. And so sometimes you hear our references to our faith and the strength of it's based on capitalism, but we were fighting at that time to make sure that in this country those things were preserved and held dear. And so that is the foundation of our organization. Amway also had a foundation, and we called it Amway, the American way. I used to speak about the wonders of America when everybody else wondered about America. I gave a speech called Selling America, which became a classic. And all it did was extol the virtues of our country and compare our achievements to a socialistic, communistic country like Russia. And we would talk about our country and what we had done by comparison. And so we have fought that fight. We must continue the fight. We are at a point where that even today, as we go through trials and tribulations economically, when it's a question of whether our economic system is valid. But the socialistic model, which is often tried and often thought of even now, has failed forever in all of history. While capitalism and free enterprise, the one system has prevailed and outperformed all the others. It is not a time to turn against it, but to stand for it more than ever. And Northwood is the school that stands four square for that, more in my experience than any other. This school is a school that has a purpose beyond that of just getting an education. My wife and I are proud of the fact that our two sons, two of our sons graduated from Northwood. Our son Dan, which is a, one of the OBL uh, winners here tonight uh, and is on the board, graduated from Northwood first. Then our older son went to Northwood and graduated from Northwood uh, to get a degree. Uh, both of them think always instead of, how do I get a job someplace? But they think of, how do we start another business someplace? And that is a spirit that I don't hear talked about. And we talk about getting jobs. We need more jobs. We need more jobs. Yes, we do. But we need more entrepreneurs who start companies that give jobs. That's what we need. And this school produces more of those than any school I know. Because the 
children and the young people who come out of here are thinking in terms of entrepreneurship, building their own business. They've learned from people who've been in business, know how to run businesses, have started businesses. And this, therefore, can be one of the most important universities in this country right now as we begin and hope can spread the concept of creating businesses, not just hoping we can find a job someplace. We built a worldwide business in Amway of helping people get in business for themselves. This is doable. It will happen. And we must do this not just to provide jobs by the government or by some other contrived means, but to create jobs out of the creative minds of our young people. Minds given to them by God with power and ability. I know we all have shortcomings. I know we're all sinners. I know we all fall short. But God not only put, knows that we're sinners, he also put in us creativities and the ability to think and create new and better ways of doing things. Our country leads in creativity. New ideas, better ideas, and you look at some of the great ideas that we all live with and accept that they all came out of the minds of people in this country who carried that faith forward. Northwood carries that idea forward, and that's why our family is honored to support it. We're proud of our children and all the other young people who graduated from this school and to you young people who are 10 now. You're in a great university. You're in a great place to move forward and not only go find a job, but to create jobs for those who don't think they're able to do it. You know, because you've been here, that you are. Thank you, everybody.